like, mm, what's wrong with you? I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't nah, break nah, up with nah, you. Nah, 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 with another Cozy Vibes podcast, episode four. As always, I got my head honchos in the building. What's your name, man? <laughs> my name is Jordan, a.k.a. Golden Boy. Golden Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Drew. My name is James. And today we have a very special guest. Our very first guest on the podcast, you making history today. Yay! What is your name, Ryan? Just tell them where they can find you. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name, Ryan? <laughs> my name. Okay, my name is Ryan. Oh, I thought I said was your name. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ryan. 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 Yeah, I'm
she had jobs, she had money, you know what I'm saying? Say she worked at a company that, and the company like went underground or something like that. Like company got shut down and she ain't had no money. Yeah, I got you then in that situation. But like from the get go, from the beginning, nah. But some people nah. aren't in the same spot in their life as you would be. Like some people, you know, are later to get there. You no, know I'm saying I wouldn't get with nobody that's not in the same spot. Like I'm not gonna get with somebody that's broke already. Would you get with somebody that's broke from the get go? Like you already did what you gotta do. You know all the struggle and, and all the things you had to do. I'm you know, I'm, you ain't got, I'm saying, but like you ain't got. This and is I'm a hypothetical broke, situation. But I'm trying to get there. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, once you get there, you gonna get with somebody else that's like broke, knowing they gonna leech off you. Because when you like, you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, like I don't they're gonna know. be depending like on you. That's something that I I don't think I can I can control if the person who's broke with no like I said no goals no aspiration none of that no hustle. But I cannot control who I choose to like or fall for in an instance, if in their circumstances. I would just, I would just know because I mean, I believe in the Lord that. Um, <laughs> you know, I believe in God too. It was just funny. It was just funny. Like, like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe in God too. Swear to God. That he's <laughs> going to give me money, and he's probably going to provide somebody that is he's probably going to give me a challenge that. Might be broke, but has, of course, those hustles and drive yeah. aspirations. So, I, I don't know. <clears throat> See, this is how I feel about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a man has to uh, do that anyways. Uh, provide. That too. So, I mean, it's really not nothing for us. But, like, for women, some would take a broke nigga. Some wouldn't. Like, I done seen some girls <laughs> with some real bum-ass niggas <laughs> over me. Like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, man. <laughs> but, uh, he got hurt. I understand. Yeah, that. He, he, like he got hurt. He said, niggas over you. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> this this man need Wi Fi to call someone. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this this is who you were fucking with? Like, really? <laughs> nigga, I ain't got a car. Where you gonna take you? Okay. Nowhere. Like, come on. I now. understand. I, but I do understand, like, the whole society standard is that a male is supposed to be liable. Yeah. I would love that, but I think everybody would. I would love a sugar mama too. I would love a sugar mama. I would love yeah. a sugar mama. I would love a sugar mama to be honest. A thousand That's... a week or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay me. Hey, I love to get paid to sleep on a uh, on a bed all day. <laughs> get my feet rubbed or something. That is true. But we can't have it that way, son. Wait, what if you want to go on dates and stuff? You going? Facts I'm going. <laughs> I'm going every day. What, okay. Is she ugly? No. Okay. So I was just, I was just gonna say <laughs> she could be she could be like a like a like a like an old what they call them cougars. You know what I'm saying? If she could look good. You got them type of sugar mamas, but then you got like the old ladies that just need that don't want to die alone. Pay for yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't post me on social media. If we don't post me on social media, <laughs> yeah, I, come, I come out with a fit. You know, she paying for it, and you know she paying for the meal. So you know, free eats. I can just say that's my grandma right in front of me. They won't even know. I can just say I don't even know this person. See, I out at Top Golf. Swinging golf, swinging golf balls, not swinging golf balls, swinging clubs and stuff on a date, and you cool with that? Hey, she trying to kiss me. I'm gonna say she gonna give you a little pet. Bro, it's a sugar mama. What you expect her to do? She paying. But you don't want that old lady kiss me, man. But how you gonna get paid? Hopefully, she don't swing her back out. You can have, you can have uh, standards. (laughs) You can tell that. Okay. I'm finna link up with you, but like, hey, no I feel like, do you think that like most sugar daddy and sugar mama know that? They're not going to get like no type of physical, none of that, and they they're still like just okay with that, or like some of them just be trying to push that boundary. But that's not the one that wants you. The one that wants you want, want to kiss you. I don't necessarily think that. I mean, they yeah. just want some conversation. Some, yeah, some people just want some conversation. Some some foot. Picks, I, yeah, I heard no. I heard like, a story about someone. <laughs> they were in Miami, and there, it was. It, I'm, of course, I can't say who, but they were. Um, party and whatnot at this club and she said she could tell that it was a sugar guy so she went and talked to him and she paid he paid her just for talking to her that night oh yeah and then from then on she can her college pay for it they take advantage pay for i swear <laughs> i'm so serious <laughs> well my college paid for it yeah, like me got student loans twin i don't, I don't look good enough to get me a sugar bob just walk up to the club get talking so i don't know about all that i'm talking to the old lady see if they're gonna pay for my college too i be seeing that on tiktok it was, it, was, it was a dude that he all he do is walk up to old ladies and try to get them get their numbers and they be giving it to him too. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start doing that. Speaking of dates. Is this your next question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if someone can not dress, would that affect the relationship? Y'all know I like. You like put that shit on. You like put it on. You like put it on. <laughs> I put that shit on on my boy. <laughs> I know there's for people that like truly. Feel <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, 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 <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's a wild question. I feel like if you have an idea, I can definitely help you get ideas, figure it out, lay it out. But if you don't, I, okay, the thing is, a lot of people think, oh, let's match, match, match here. I like to coordinate. Right. Coordination is way better than just matching. Because, you know, some. Colors just coordinate. You wouldn't think, oh, they necessarily match, but when you put it on, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. What if that's just his style, though? Because some people, like, you know what I'm saying? Some people got certain styles, and people be like, you can't dress, so you do too much. You know how some, certain people don't like how, like, yeah. the talent of the creator dress? Oh, I love it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, some people don't. Some people might, like, hate it. Some people might say you do too much. Like, some people say LeBron can't dress. LeBron can't dress. Or Michael Jordan. Russell Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Russell Westbrook. Exactly. That's, that's what I, that's what I was thinking about. Got them pink colors. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He got the money and stuff. You can't help him. But the thing he is, he's got dress. money. That's not his style. So it doesn't really matter. He can wear whatever he wants. Yeah, that is true. He it doesn't can, matter. Nigga walk around some underwear uh, and shit. Yeah, and he was that is true. still get the same check. It don't matter. I got a million dollar draws on. Fuck you. Right. Just because it's like $2,000. It's fine. I'm all dead, right? <laughs> but like, what do you, you think Russell Westbrook can dress? I don't know. I don't know what the hell that nigga be. You, I saw one time. But they like, be clowning that nigga, but <laughs> oh my god, I be in that bit crying. I, mean, I saw. I, I saw one time he had like on like a like a, a construction worker's vest, bro, and it was like bright. Here's the thing: some of the pieces that he throws on, if he just took it off the outfit and did something a little bit more, a little less and better, and not with that, it would be better. Okay, so say a nigga pull up to uh, to a party like this. You you fucking with it? Yeah, it's Kyle Kuzma, by the way. When you wear that long pink trench coat you shirt, up. long sleeve, whatever it was. I Insert would wear this sweater. Okay, shirt. now this sweater though, it just doesn't go. I can't like his. I don't know when the, when his arms in. I don't even see like where his hands in and like how you function in that. Like I would wear this as a dress. Now, I don't know what that now is. that's a dude, right? They yeah. was on, on his ass <laughs> on it. LeBron said, I can't defend you no more. It's not as Tyus. bad as some of the stuff that was what I prefer. Though, let's, let's I don't know. Yeah, Russ was kind of serious. He wore a skirt one time. Yeah, I know. That was horrible. He wore a skirt? Yeah. Like, I'd rather him wear that than the skirt. Mm. A lot of dudes wearing skirts nowadays. It's 2021. Play with Cardi. Josie. Cardi. Julius love him. That, uh, <laughs> He's a real vampire. Cardi hard. I ain't gonna cut to you that. Oh, little sweets. Bruh, I saw that one picture. He was he was at a football field. And I sent it to y'all. It was a bunch of people. They was wearing like cleats and stuff. He was over there wearing boots and some, <laughs> and some sweatpants and some high socks, bruh. And he had a camera with him. Like bruh. like his his pants be tight, tight. I mean like Tight, like how the hell he walk? <laughs> bro, he's just different, bro. But it's this is Julius' favorite. Yeah, I'm saying nothing about Uzi. We didn't say nothing about young boy putting on makeup either. <laughs> no, oh my god, I saw that. Yeah, lashes on. <laughs> I don't even know what that. Was. I don't know what that was. Didn't that was me old. either. And then the people, hey, I want young boy fans. They talking about something. If he gay, I'm gay. Oh no, 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 no. 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 Oh, because he put that makeup they, on. Yes, they die for that man. <laughs> I need some fans like that. Right. I'm like yeah, but at the same time, just that. I pass. <laughs> what, what, they said that uh, he been in jail for so long and stuff, but now, now that he put makeup on, y'all think something wrong with him. Even though he always be saying he's sad in his songs, but now y'all don't say something wrong There's with him. There's always been something wrong with that boy. Yeah. yeah. Like, he got how many, uh, how many kids? Yeah. Right. Yeah, like 15. And how old is he? Does he see all these kids? 15. <laughs> nah, he... I think he's like. Bro, I might be talking about Nick Cannon or somebody. Nick, Nick Cannon. Well, we all know Nick Cannon got like yeah. twenty kids. Bro, 
know, Nick Cannon different. Nick Cannon is different. Nick Cannon is different. He's okay with it. And they're okay with it. The women are okay with it. That's what kills me. Hey. I, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, I don't see the reason how that many kids, but I also see a reason why. Because Two at the same time? What about, what about one of them just, <laughs> just blow up? Like, just get richer than you. I mean, that's an investment right there. Well, technically, they're worth, they're richer than what he started out. So, yeah. if they keep going, they, they will definitely time. be richer than him. Yeah. So, I mean, he got seven kids, bro. And he like 21 or like 22. Couldn't be me, bro. Mm -mm. I want two kids max. That's it. Max? Max. Max? Max. I get three. You want a boy or girl? Boys. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to do with no girls to Oh, oh no, no, no girls. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why. Am I the only one that wants to go? I've always kind of wanted a daughter, bro. Oh, no. I know who no. I, I know me, period. And I know I'd be a... Your daughter, your daughter would act just like you? Of course. I act just like my mom. Ooh, my daughter is not leaving the house at 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a lockdown. No. I'm gonna I wouldn't, I wouldn't 25. be like that. But I mean, it's just that. It's the, it's the attitude thing. I have to be attitude. I mean, it's not fine, but I mean... It's fine. It's, it's fine in certain, like, I mean, it's not like I have a bad attitude. I'm just rude and I'm not that type of girl. But, like, when I have an attitude, when I get my attitude, it's nothing that anybody wants to deal with. And I don't want to deal with that for a child. Mm. So why don't you want to have a, a, a daughter's drug? I just told you. You know <laughs> these females. Oh, my God. Shut up. What I be saying. Oh. That's not the reason why I wouldn't want to have a daughter. That's my reason. That's my reason. That's my reason. Oh, my God. Just imagine. Oh, my God. He didn't have to finish on the week. I know. I know. I ain't got time. Still, that's not. That would not be For a son, I'm going to be proud. Like, he get like five That's a problem, though. I thought it was a problem. Why is it a problem? Oh, my heart. Why is it different? It's the same thing. It's the exact same. Same no, thing. it's not. Daddy little girl getting smashed by five dudes versus your boy hitting on five dudes. That's like... That's five like, dudes? Mm. I'm just... <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Get it together, J-Dog. Tighten up to me. Tighten up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same... I mean, five minutes. Must be, it's the heart. same thing. You think yeah. so? It's, it's not. It's never been the same thing. Yeah. Men, I know it's a double standard. It's not fair. But it's I mean, like... That's just it's how society is. Well, it's a problem. It's a problem, but I mean, like... It is a problem. Y'all can still do it. Y'all just care too much about what people think. Like, people don't be calling y'all. I don't care. Stuff. See, this, this is what it is. I don't care. <laughs> it's if my business. It. I mean, it's, it's their life, but this is yeah. my daughter that we talking I mean, about. Yeah, so, yeah your daughter. So this, this, this is going to be even more. Like, I don't care. Like, local thought, hit, 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 game. I don't care. Like, I don't, <laughs> they can, that's them. Like, they're living their life. I'm happy for them. But well, that's my daughter. I cannot let that happen. Yeah, it's not like I'm telling you to let it happen. I'm just, and I mean, I would definitely, if I have a daughter, I would raise her right in that area. It's just the fact that if it happens, it's, like, it's just gonna happen. Like, why are we applauding him but shaming? Him? <coughs> but then they represent you too at the same time. Oh, I know that. So that's just, this is it's just weird. Like, <laughs> oh no, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad that it happened. I'm gonna just be sad. It's just like, oh my gosh, my daughter. You know, it's just it's Cause, gonna cause, hit different. Cause we know as dudes like how girls get talked about, especially like if they go around the city. So like it's like worse for us, cause like we know like what go down fine. Cause like a lot of girls they be like they wonder what dudes think. Like we actually know how we think. We be it get it's it, yeah. it get especially in the group chat. And it yeah. and it's harder for say if my daughter just got nobody ain't gonna want that. Like no no man is gonna want that. So you gonna One. Not one, one dude. Nobody's gonna want her. But she got I mean, dudes they that have fifteen by the age of nineteen. Fifteen bodies. Yeah. That is more true. than fifteen. I feel like it's harder for a dude. No. It is. It is. It is. It is. It do is. you not know how hard it is? <laughs> if you, if you get a girl. <laughs> hey. You get it too bad. I'm not even gonna lie. If we put. If we did a test, right, 10 girls, 10 boys, we put 10 girls and we tell them to hit up any random dude and tell them, let's link. 10 out of 10 of them are going to come here and they're going to link with this girl. But if a dude did that, I, I don't even think they're going to get one. Yeah. One, one. 
Like that's 20, how much harder a dude got to try. Twenty percent from the field, bro. Well, then if that's the case, then why, then why do we turn around and then talk about those females when they do it? I don't want to talk about them. Or I, well, I'm not saying y'all, but I mean like in general, do we talk about it? your group chats and be- stuff like that? Because <laughs> like, no, we just saying like we don't be we don't be like this. We never disrespect women. Yeah. We be saying like we know that like she get around. See, that see, see, this, see. This how people, most people think like. So okay, so well, back to what we were saying. So you wouldn't want a daughter because you don't. You wouldn't want her to be the one that gets around. Yeah. yeah. Well, then just raise her right. That's not a... But no, you can raise her right. But you know, yeah, certain you can, girls... Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like certain girls, when they go like to college, they're wild out. Yeah, they're girls go to college know. and do, have study dates and you know what they're doing for real. Yeah. Or, but no, when they're back home, you can have security and everything. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't sneaking the house, nothing. But that's yeah. exactly. And like, bro, like, you know, like, you see like some movie stuff about girls doing stuff like at college. Like, that's like real life situation. <laughs> yes. I never knew that until like, I got, <laughs> and, I got like, and, and it your, really gets like that, bro. And your daughter could have like a high sex drive, so you cannot control that, like, at yeah. all. Yeah. Hormones. And we know how, we know how dudes treat females. We don't want our daughters to go through what dudes be, because some dudes really just don't be caring. And y'all really, I ain't gonna say y'all, everybody be getting their heart broke, but like, dudes really be like, Breaking folks' hearts and don't be caring, and that's now, I wouldn't want to deal with that. I'd rather my son be the heartbreaker, even though that's not good either. But you know what I'm saying? I'd rather not them get their heart broke. Even if I was uh, was raising a son, I wouldn't raise her. Being and a that's why I also say it like because you it's pretty evident that girls <laughs> can get it whenever they want to. So that's why I applaud the dude because it's hard. It is very hard. <laughs> Talk to him. So you know, a girl can just. Hey, come, come to my house. <laughs> okay, but now, okay, then, then within saying that, because then you would be like, okay, a girl could text 10, 10 guys and they come over, but if you text out your girl, then, nah, right? That's what you said. This is, but, okay, okay go, ahead, go ahead, my bad. Saying that, do you feel that women hold more power in that way? Yeah. yeah yes, strongly. Okay. Women would okay. hold a lot of stuff with that. Like, they want dudes to act right. They don't give them nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of power with that. Like, dude going to change his ways just to get that certain thing. Like, you know OnlyFans. Like, didn't that... <laughs> didn't... What's her name? Uh, Bad Baby get a million? I'm the second million? she turned 18, that was yeah, nasty. Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of nasty. That's what I the mean, power girl got. Like, what dude doing it? None. I'm saying. You know, I might want to see that. I'm going say all the to be honest, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, dudes just want to see that, bro. So, yeah, I hold a lot of power. Like, females is really getting paid millions and millions and millions of dollars off that type of stuff. Mm. But we won't want our daughters. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what we trying to say. Mm. She gonna be reading the Bible 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna know the Lord. <laughs> okay. But like, yeah, bro. Because women, since, since they can just get whoever they want, if somebody is just getting whoever and, and just not a... Uh, what is that? What is that? I thought I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me taste like no, ice. No, it tastes like no, no, no. Right? It does taste like ice. That's what it is. How do you know how you can freezer burn like uh, food and stuff? Like if you leave it open, it's like freezer burnt. Like it tastes like a freezer. Oh, so it tastes like freezer. That's what that water tastes like. Like it's melted ice. How does it taste like ice? I, didn't I don't taste ice. That's what I'm saying. I don't taste ice. Right. That's how I don't get it. Just if you like get it, you just get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my bad, my bad. My bad. I don't you know about ice it. and water. Like, yeah, yeah. they were trying to crack on me like that. Oh, didn't make sense. It, it did that first, and it's, yeah, I, I still don't yeah. get it. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Were you the only one with questions? No, bro. We all got questions. Yeah, no. uh-huh. We just he was the only one asking me questions. We was just having a conversation too. It's all good, you feel me? Check it out. Not on the bit, dog, so you know. But, like, I got I got another question. Going back to what we was talking about earlier. About supporting somebody. Okay. Your dude. He loves to stay on topic. He loves to stay on topic. Like, saying, like, forever and come up with 10 different scenarios. Because it's, it's interesting to me. I just want to know, like, if a dude, say he went out to war, right? Came back. Legs got blown off. He in a wheelchair. The rest of his life. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> this is the stuff I'm literally, this, 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 the scenarios you come up with are crazy. Would you stay with him? 
It's real life. It happens all the, every, all the time. I know. Yes. If I wasn't, it doesn't matter. Someone just wet. It wasn't going to do anything. It let that blow on. He in the wheelchair for the rest of life. Exactly. What does that have to do with anything? Exactly. I ain't taking care of nobody. They let it get blown off. Uh, you messed up. Exactly. You just wrong. You know, what's wrong with you? I mean, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't break up with you. Nah, nah, nah. Until last night. 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 But for the rest of my life, I'm going to leave a bit. I'm going to take care of somebody else for the rest of my life. She Bro, did something. If it happened when you were in love with this person, y'all married for like 15 plus years. No, I leave them just because their legs got blown off. I ain't not even, See, no, not even 15. You heartless. So you, put it, you put it in another scenario. No, let's put it in that scenario. Okay, in that scenario, so you don't say or leave. I would think about it. <laughs> Uh, this man heartless. Hey, you hearing this right now? He's heartless. Really? No, 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 no. no. I, I would, I would stay with them. But if you was my girlfriend and you went off to war and I ain't seen you too much, you come back your legs blown off and I gotta, you know, what I'm saying wipe your butt because you can't do it yourself. Well, but you can wipe your butt. They got hands. They got hands. They got hands. They got hands. But I can't. I don't know. Prostitutes. I would still give it to me. I mean. I wouldn't have been to say all that. I know that. <laughs> but I wouldn't be one to do it. This is my ain't got no legs. Man, next question. Uh, yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> um, <laughs> do you like to get spoiled by your man? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Obviously. I'm a daddy's rag. I get spoiled all the time. Oh. Do y'all do the spoiling? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your own shit. Okay, but at the same <laughs> time, I like, to, I like to spoil too. Like, Every now and then, yeah. Oh, so you a gift giver? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Interesting. I bought this man a sandwich. Yes, and it was very good. Shout out to those mice. I want to say it too. Forget Subway. Okay, because before he was all on Subway, and I was like, you haven't had Jersey Mike's Subway, ain't got nothing on this. I've not even Publix has nothing on Subway. Hey, Subway, number one. Like, Subway is pretty good. And it got cookies. Let's talk about it. Mm. Oh Jersey Mike's got cookies. Not bad. Subway. Subway. Yeah. Subway. Yeah. Subway. You don't really hear people be like, hey, give me a Jersey Mike's cookie. They always be like, hey, bro, go give me a Subway cookie real quick, bro. Yeah. But I'm telling you, bro. I didn't even matter. The sandwich is oh good. God. I used to come hoop. I'd be like, bro, I want some Subway cookies, but that's the only thing I want it. Like, oh my God. Double chocolate chip. That'd be the best one. Anyway, we were talking the fuck is a Jersey Mike cookie? What they, what they said there? What they, what type of cookies they, they got? Like they know, you know, see, <laughs> don't even off the top of it. <laughs> they got white chocolate, <laughs> they got chocolate chip, double chocolate chip, s'mores. Did you, did, did they? They do like have s'mores? special flavors. Oh, they don't, they don't they be broadcast yeah, no, in special no, no. Like, come on, Subway. I mean, yeah, okay, they supposed to be healthy, but shit. I like to get, eat not. some dessert too. <laughs> yeah, you know that tuna ain't tuna. That would have hurt. I don't even like tuna. But I don't even eat the tuna, so I don't care. I'm, I was in Subway today. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Like I, don't care. I, don't care. I, don't I mean, most food, not even real food. You, you see how they, you see the own Wendy's and how they make their chili and shit? Okay, let's talk about nasty. that because Wendy's has the nerve to be overpriced. And honestly, I don't even think their drug should be that that high in price. It should that be the true. same price as McDonald's because it's just as nasty. Four, four. Mm. That's and they're trying to get rid of four for fours. They ain't gonna have no business. Get rid of four for four. Did you, did you not hear about that? No, they're trying to get rid of four for four. It was nasty. <laughs> it is. Calm down. Wendy's or and McDonald's. They're both nasty. Okay, we're not putting Wendy's this in lady. the same category as McDonald's. I'll eat the fries. I go to McDonald's for fries, fries and are so cookies. Good. Fries yeah. and cookies. So, what so what's the uh, fast food that you normally would go to? Chipotle. This is how I say everybody eats Chipotle. I don't go Chipotle anywhere. is amazing. I, you I really don't go anywhere. Because we don't have anything here. Let's be honest. Because if we were somewhere else, like, let's say Atlanta. I love fresh to order. <laughs> I love fresh to order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't eat up there. I don't if, know if, if I go up to that. Atlanta, I'm going to Quesnos. Best place ever. What is that? Quesnos. You know what is Quesnos. Quesnos. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quesnos. No, I didn't know what that is. Bro, it's a sub shop, bro. But so you know what I got? Bro, I don't go. I don't eat sub. You know, I like, you know, like, Charlie's I've seen them, but I've never like been in. I've never been That's in. That's my childhood. I, I love Quiznos. I say it wrong, but who cares? Quiznos. Yeah, I, I, I was wondering why you saying like that. Quiznos. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't even know what the hell it is, so who cares? So don't. Let me show you some burgers and steaks and all that. Yeah. Oh, it was like the Subway before Subway. I don't eat beef. Oh, my God. 
but it was like a really like joke. <laughs> it was like a really joke. Like only white people ate like Quiznos. Like <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Hell yeah, bitch. Yeah, but I, I said it. But I went up there uh, a few months ago. Man, I kept that bit. I'm like, damn, that shit's not good. <laughs> Man, y'all niggas hate it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so aside from Chick Fil A, I don't know. Like, there's nothing over here. You don't like no Zaxby's? I don't know. Zaxby's just fell, fell, totally yeah. fell off in the last three I'm, years. I'm, I'm, I'm done with Zaxby's. I'm with you, Me too. Too. I'm not. I'm that not shit with takes so long. I'll hey, be in the line. Exactly. The one on 96. I'll be in the line for 30 minutes. <laughs> have it moved. I'm like, I got fed up at one point. This is last week. I was going to go eat there before <laughs> I went to work. I got that at 1 o'clock. I look at my phone, it's 131. I gotta be at work at two. I said, bro, what the fuck is going on? I go around, them niggas finally handing in the food. I'm like, yeah, fuck this place. Bro, that not coming really good. Home. And their score is bad too, no. That one is bad. Who cares about the score? Like the health like the health score? Like it's, what what number is it? I don't know. I only go to eight my, restaurants. My okay, my my dad has this like little app that's called like uh what is it? Nasty Eats and it's all like the bad rating. Nasty health rate scores and water rockets are like any town. Yeah. McDonald's begins C's all the time. No, the one on Watson is a bad one. That's the bad that's the bad one. That's that's a few. McDonald's do begin low scores all the time. I mean some McDonald's, yeah, but it's thirteen of them. But it's McDonald's at the same time. Zaxby ain't wrong with Zaxby, bro. Zaxby's really good. Zaxby's you still wanna go to McDonald's though. I'll go to both of them. No. Other than that, it's either Chick fil A, the house, or Kroger. That's it. Can you cook? <laughs> yeah, I don't like to though. I can, but I just, I'd rather not. Well, how you cook? Though? I be cooking. <laughs> I be cooking on that ramen noodles, but I be in that be living. Facts. That's, I don't think that counts. That's, that's not. Counting. That's not. That, cooking, that's so. from Facts. A I was just playing, but I cook it. Filet mignon, nigga. They call me Jordan Ramsey. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so Chick Fil A, McDonald's, Kroger. Yeah. Funny, I didn't know nah, nobody else. Nah, he put you in the spot with that one. Nah, I had, I had to keep the joke going, but I, really, I thought it was, <laughs> I was going to laugh, but then I didn't want to be the only one. Because, you know, if you see one person laughing <laughs> out of the group, you know, it don't look good. I was just being funny. I, being I thought it was a joke. I'm just here. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not even I'm, I'm not even here. I'm, 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 I'm Put me out. But it wasn't going to show. But then at the same time, like, I cook what I want to eat. Because, you know, I don't eat beef. Like, so I'm tired. Like, I'm gonna cook. I'm you don't eat beef? That's yes, not. So, what do you eat? <laughs> Chicken. I, love, I can eat all fish. Like fish. Seafood, seafood is disgusting. Well, you disgusting, bitch. I hate seafood. I'll the agree. texture, the, the way. My uh, favorite is scallops. <laughs> okay, scallops is like next to damn near, like, tastes like the sea. Like, it's close to, like. Yeah, and that. What See, is it? Horrible. Clam shells? Yeah. Uh, oysters. Oysters. Ugh. Yeah. No, I would not. I'd hate those. But scallops are kind of like fish. Mm-hmm. But I like it. So, would you say, like, say if your boyfriend part of your life, would you trust him? That's a good question, that is a good question. Um, Amazing question. I don't. What I did? Yeah. When I'm getting to know you, the thing is, if trust isn't built in the beginning, then then it depends. If I don't trust you at that point, then I mean, I don't even think I would honestly be with you. Knowing me, like if I don't trust you, (laughs) Uh, yeah, I think trust is the biggest. (laughs) There's no point in me losing my mind. Yeah. When it just like overthinking. Yeah. I think trust is the biggest thing in a relationship, honestly. Like you can't trust. Because I don't mind being like. Because I mean, I'm not the party girl, but I mean, if you want to go out, like, okay, oh well, I don't really care. Do what you gotta do. Be responsible. Come home. It's fine. And that's that's me at a point where if I trust you, that's when I trust yeah. you. I feel the same way because like, if you fuck up, then that's just on you. So. But you know, at the same time, I don't even think it's a. It is a trust thing for me, but, you know, you have to experience it to know. Like, okay, I'm gonna let you go. We'll see how you act this time. Yeah. If you act yeah. now, then then that's where it's just like, okay, do I trust you? 
So you have to go out and get it from them. Well, you can see, um, <clears throat> I don't really care if they go party. I mean, I'm not the party type. I'm probably not gonna go nine times out of ten. But like, uh, if they if they go out to party, but like, I'm I'm a trust them either way. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what you gonna do. What's gonna happen? But like, if you cheat, I find out. Then it's really just rats. I mean, and that's yeah, just on you. You just fucked it up on your own self. I mean, so I get you. I'm not gonna just take away your your fucking rights of going to a party with your friends just because you're going out with me. I mean, I'm not that type of person. You go be yourself. But like, if you you know what the hell you gotta go and handle when you go to that party. So like, if you go into that party and and you know you with me. And you over here talking to other niggas while you at a party, then what the fuck you doing with me? Like, it was the whole point of that. So, exactly. yeah, that's how I just feel about the situation. I mean, like I said, <clears throat> I don't care. Go do what you got to do. But it's just something about me to where, like, if you constantly going out. Because I'm not going with you because I'm not a party person either, you feel me? So, I don't, I seen girls in clubs. Not that I would get with somebody that I think would do something like that. But I, it would always be something in the back of my head, like nagging me, like like what is they doing out there at the party? You feel me? And I just wouldn't want to go through with that. See, that's the difference between me and you, cause like w once they go, I'm not giving a fuck. I don't care. Like I'm not thinking about nothing. The only the only time I would think about that is if I don't trust you. Yeah, yeah. I I mean yeah, I really that's what cannot I'm trust you at that point. Yes. And there's no point being with you then, cause like <laughs> if I can't trust you, <laughs> you always out there. What the hell? No, like you exactly right. It's just me. Like, so you just overthinking. You're you're just, just, I'm not even an overthinker. Like I really try I not to think, think about you're that. I'm a guarded person. No, that too, like maybe. But <laughs> like at the same time, like I don't go on parties a lot. So sometimes I just imagine like the situation. I don't like actually know like shit going on. So like I imagine more in a situation like at a party or something like that than something that I would like know for real. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like it's like say like. I know all her friends, right? So I'm cool, I'm familiar, I know all of them. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna do, do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't put my trust in her friend. I put my trust in her, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm cool with them. She wanna go hang out with them all the time. It wouldn't be nothing nagging in the back of my mind, like, what is they out there doing, you feel me? But, like, a party situation, you know what I'm saying? Folk be drunk, off the lit, you know what I'm saying? Be smoking, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> If you had a if you have a friend and they're influencing you to cheat and you hanging out with them, I can't be with you. Yeah. Okay. No. That's... You right there. Don't let your friend do that to you. Keep going. That ain't a real friend. Two. If you drink and I see you acting crazy off a of drink <laughs> and you over there kissing your goddamn female friends, I can't be with you. I don't know who the fuck you gonna kiss. That is. What the hell you gonna do at that point? I just can't be with you. But if if you can control yourself while you drunk and your friends are not influence you to cheat, well then I don't I don't care what you do. You can go have fun, but like, yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, I actually have a question. Who? Because I mean, y'all are friends, obviously. You got questions. Y'all influence each other. Right. That's what best friends do. What you gonna ask? So you have. Mm, in a relationship with a girl, obviously, and she has friends that are just not on the same level as her. You know, like you're way more mature than them. They do shit that's not, mm, it's not right. Da, 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 da. And you see that, but she doesn't see that. She's kind of naive to it. Are you gonna have a problem with her or her friends? Her friends. I feel like Joe from the thing. <laughs> Okay, now are you going to bring it up to her to just be like, hey, get it together, or like, see this, or like, you know? I will definitely bring it up to make her see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Definitely bring it up. Because you're not going to be there blind, you don't know what your friends do behind their back. And then they influence you at some point, and then you start acting. Yeah. So yeah. it just all turns bad. This is how I see it. Um, I would put it in their perspective. Say if, say if I was doing it to them. If they don't see nothing wrong with it, so I say, what about if I did this? And they still don't see nothing wrong with it, then they're fucking toxic and I'm leaving you alive. That is a good point. <laughs> I actually do. I do that a lot. I would ask, like, so how would you feel if I did this? How would you feel if I did that? Oh, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And That's bring a problem. Up, then, bring up, <laughs> then I bring up something that she mentioned and it was a problem. 
And they have, oh, what about when you did this? Oh, it's not the same. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah we're you not arguing. Some fucking rocks. <laughs> Bye. No point in arguing at all. Yeah, you go kiss some rocks on that. I'm not even gonna deal with that. I'm like, you just, you, what you do is nothing wrong, but when I do it, it's the biggest problem ever. It's like, no more hypocritical <laughs> ass. I told you my pet peeve was hypocrite. So I just, I'm going to say something yeah, personal. I'm going to say something yeah, personal. Talking from experience here, that's that's, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. You good today, man? I'm good over here. You know. Are you sure? I never been heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? You know I don't don't give a fuck. You don't care though. Yeah, to get heartbroken. Yeah. What? Jado the savage. I I cannot. I'm tired of heartbreak. I cannot go through that. Oh, you been heartbroken? You very nonchalant. You been heartbroken? How did that feel? I wouldn't even know. I want to know now. Yeah, let's talk about it. You know what? I, I really, like, truly thought I was depressed. Mm. I really wasn't. So what do you define as depressed? How do you know that you're depressed? Mm, that's personal. <laughs> that is personal because I've been through things, right. as we know. Like As we know. know. <laughs> oh, you don't know how to say it. I'm just saying. Yeah, it. and... How do you know that you're first? Um, I know now. Um, it, it literally feels like I'm here, but I'm, like, right there watching myself. Okay. Not even in my body. Oh, I don't okay. know. That's that. a good way to describe I'm it. I'm not... You, you don't... You're just going through motions. You're just following what your body's doing. And yeah, you're not feeling yourself. Yeah, it's crazy. That's deep. Damn. That's deep right now. Yeah. Not they ain't never been visualized like that. Like, I heard people say, like, they feel like they're on autopilot. They don't feel like themselves. But the way you describe it, like, you outside of your body and stuff like that, like, that's that's really crazy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, you know it, but it's just like, how do I get back here? Yeah. And I'm sure, it's a journey. I'm sure getting shot don't help with that. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> That, so that's why I was like, heartbreak, I thought I was depressed. Now I know what depression is, truly. How did you feel? Like, how did that feel? <laughs> like, the bullet or like, the heart? Like, what? I'm just so like, cute. Like, 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 <laughs> 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 what did I sound? Sad or something? Like, you was like, 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 I'll whisper it, I'll sound. You sounded like, you sounded like, I don't even know, you just went, I just went, I just like, genuinely want to know. Uh, like, okay, like, you got okay. was into the conversation. I ain't mad at it, but that's, I'm just like, you know, that's what you said. Yeah, about. so like the bullet itself or like in the moment, like me. Okay, so tell me how you um you felt when it happened and what was going through your head. Um, well, when I felt it, I wasn't focused on it. I mean, I knew it because there's something I wasn't feeling, and then that's a new sound I've heard. I've never heard gunshots before, so I was like, oh, obviously. Um, but honestly, in that moment, if there's only one girl that can relate to me because she was right next to me. It's like you're preparing yourself and mentally like, okay, I'm getting prepared to get shot, you know, and die. Like I was literally tensing my body up and preparing myself to just get shot. Right. So did it, it was, and I mean, I couldn't feel anything else but just like, okay, here it goes. Okay, here it goes. Okay, here it goes. Okay. That's all I was saying. I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It was just tension. So that that's what it was in my head in that moment once it stopped. And then I got up. I was running for my life. <laughs> so I really wasn't paying attention to what my foot was doing. I didn't even know because adrenaline. But, um, oh, so you was running on it? I ran from, so like this is the house. This was the car. I was behind the car right here. I got up and I ran into the house. And it wasn't that far, it was like the car in front of the house. Um, yeah, so I ran over there. So what, what was the situation for people that don't know? You was at the, you was at the Fort Valley party, right? No, I was at the North Side Winter Robins yeah. block party. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the situation was, it was a lame ass party, let's be honest. Oh, okay. It was Damn. lame as hell. <laughs> it, was, it was nobody, I'm telling you, it was silent. <laughs> It was quiet because I mean we had an aggravate or uh, aggravating like thing, and the police had came when I had first got there. Honestly, should have left. Um, and they were basically people were calling because you know we were in the street. People couldn't get to the house that were coming in. Mm -hmm. So after that, there was also parents there telling us to move in and out of the street, in and out of the street. No cars were coming. 
uh, and they turn the music down so they wouldn't be a noise aggravation. We can hear just about anybody's conversation, anybody who would be arguing or raising their voice, and we could hear like the girls that were like dancing to the tiniest bit of music they could hear, and we could hear like that, like everything I could hear. And so when I heard, uh, it was just out of nowhere, like nobody was arguing, just three gunshots coming from the cul-de-sac right here, open street, my car's right here. Yeah. Um, he, there, it, was, it was people in the car that were coming now, so there's three shots, so that means they were already over there, and I'm like, okay, I've never heard a gunshot before. It honestly sounds like somebody popping a balloon. Mm-hmm. Right. So, then it goes there. Mm-hmm. Not. <laughs> uh, I went for a second, but I wasn't there for rides and stuff like that, but um, mm-hmm. it sounds like a, somebody popping a balloon, so I'm sitting there like, who's popping balloon where's fireworks at like what's going on and everybody's just like okay and then there's like ten thousand shots coming from this way all over here and i'm just like okay well where is i can't go this way i can't go that way so i'm like just trying to hide and i guess i'm guessing because i don't know um i'm guessing that car had at that point gotten to where i was at Mm -hmm. and i was i was running i was probably like right here right here by the car the second i like push to get right here. I was like pushing people out of my way to get right behind this car. I felt it. So. Dang. And then I, of course, fell down. And it was me and another girl, and I was just like, I just got shot. I just got shot. Like, and there was a bunch of girls behind the car. Honestly, let's be honest. It was a, it was so dumb. And it was so stupid. I'll never really under, be able to understand why they did it. Who cares? They weren't in their right mind. But it was honestly sorry to my parents a bitch ass thing to do because it was a bunch of females. It was honestly a bunch of females, to be honest. You're shooting in the crowd with a bunch of females. It was stupid. Right. Um and yeah. Took a shot in my ankle. Uh after that. It was just totally downhill. Ran to the house. Me being me, I'm not a mean person. I'm very nice, very caring. I'm always trying to help people beside me and a dude had his fingers grace. And to focus my mind off of what was going on my foot and to calm myself down, naturally, I just helped somebody. So I was just like, okay, I'll call the police. I was just like, calm down. Because he was freaking out. I mean, like, running in the kitchen, just freaking out. And I was just like, hey, calm down. I'll call the cops. And I did. Three times. Didn't answer. Four times. Didn't answer. Cops didn't answer? Three times, yes. But they were. I found out after that they were already in the neighborhood. Like, they stayed in the neighborhood after they complained. Mm. So they were in the neighborhood. When they had what the hell they was on? Yeah, so I, I was at the point did that, and the group that was from Veterans, just a couple girls, and not even really people that I, I mean, I knew them, but everybody else I didn't really know. They thought that I was fine because I ran, and I was like, you know, I'm fine. I just ran. I'm fine. So they left because I said that I was fine, and then I was like, okay, well, let me leave, and I couldn't even take one step. The lady sat me down, and it's just like, oh, no, it's a bullet. They couldn't even find it in my shoe. They were just like, I, I can't see the bullet hole. It was like tiny, right above my uh, the platform. And then they were like, but there's no like exit. It was like, it's just in there. And they just raised my foot up. The ambulance that I called came in for me. Um, at that point, my dad was there. They got there like at the same time. And they like checked, they said there was still a pulse, it's fine. And they wrapped it up because it was of course bleeding. And they told me to wait, because I guess they're going to take me to the ambulance. They're going to take me trauma in Macon, because we don't have a trauma in Warner Robins. What the hell are y'all doing? Um, and they basically told me just to wait. And that was like 10 minutes and 15 minutes. I was like, I'm not waiting. So my dad put me on his back and carried me. But the thing was, every single time I like got up or I started to move, it started leaking. Just going, going, going. But my aunt stayed around the corner from there, so we grabbed a towel from my house mm-hmm. and headed up to make it. And that was the rest of my night. Found out the bullet was still in my foot. Had it stopped centimeters before my tendon. Cracked my heel bone. It, will crack, it went in, hit my heel bone. It stopped right before my tendon. Mm-hmm. And it was a shitty bullet because it was supposed to shatter my bone. It just cracked my bone. Oh, so they wouldn't even shoot a real bullet for real. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. They disrespect you with bad bullets, huh? Mm-hmm. It's good as nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Um, Other people were in dangerous situations, obviously. Yeah. 
sadly. R.I.P. Rest her soul. That's horrible. Too young. Way too young. That pissed me off. It still pisses me off. So stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I would be pissed too. That was a crazy night. That was, yeah, that was insane for me. It was, it, I, it wasn't even, one, I was still in shock for, honestly, the whole month. Because, I, I mean, I didn't eat. I couldn't even, I couldn't even eat. I couldn't function. I couldn't even do anything. I was just still in shock. Like, wow. It it really happened. Like, every every single time I woke up, everyone was like, this is real. This is real. This is real. I had to remind myself that. <coughs> still kind of have to. But other than that, ugh, anger. I've dealt with that a lot better from like the last times I've like had to be in jail. It's gotten better, but yeah. So since this happened, are you more cautious about like going out? No. Oh, speaking of cautious, <laughs> the other day I had a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> that cautious, like my senses are so high, and I had a, I was out. I went to go see the Spider Man movie, best movie twenty twenty one. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, I don't. I don't think it's the best movie. Between anyways, the anyways. We can talk about it. No, <laughs> no, we're not, because we're just gonna ignore that. We'll talk um, about. We'll talk about after party. <laughs> we'll talk about after party. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, I, you know, I've I've had a couple panic attacks, but it's been like waking up battling nightmares. So I'm still delirious. I'm not like all the way 100 percent awake, but it it was never this severe. So, um, me of course being Ryan again, be nice. And caring, I was just like, I'm not gonna go home on zero. I'm just gonna put five dollars in. So I learned that what what has been on zero and like cuts me off the next day. So I was gonna put at least five dollars in. So that way the next morning when he woke up, he can go and fill up. Cause I mean that was technically the plan because Quick Trip was like a dollar eighty something right now. That was twenty five. That was the, yeah, crazy. So I was just like, you know what? I'll go after I went to movies and then I went to Waffle House. And then as I'm leaving, of course, Kroger's closed. Everyone's closed except for that Shell's Moody and Perry, right? Or no, Moody and 96, right there by mm -hmm. the new, yeah, the markers. And I pulled up, got out. I had like, I had my dad's card and my phone in my hand. That was it. And I'm literally getting the pump to put in and a car pulled up. Car was, it's not like a raggedy ass car. It was a nice car. And the dude had got out and to put something in the back seat. Then he like looked at me. And he looked at me, and then he looked at me again, but it was like a, this kind of look. I was like, and I don't know what the hell it was, but it like just struck me like immediately. And I started panicking. I was like, this, no, like it wasn't right. And I like threw the shit back in there and I jumped in the car and I started jetting. And I don't know, I started panicking, but I was like, okay, calm down. And I couldn't calm myself down. Like it got so bad. I was two miles from my house driving. Panic attack was getting so bad. My vision was going in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very. I mean, that, that was, what, sad. That was yesterday. That was, no, today's Monday. Yeah, that was two nights ago. That was Saturday night. <laughs> it was two nights ago. But literally blacking out as I'm driving. And then as I'm pulling up to my house, then it was just like, okay, my whole body's numb. My heart is in my ass. I can't feel anything. And as I'm getting into the house, like, I just collapsed. And I can't see. Like, at that point, I'm truly blacked out. And I'm trying to calm down. Yeah. Horrible. So, I'm still... Dealing with my senses, I'm trying to. I don't. I don't necessarily. I have triggers. Like that triggered me. Weed. The smell of weed triggers me. Oof. Oh, it's from that party. Uh. Weed and like dark spaces. When I did the uh, Atlanta bonfire, they mm -hmm. had security first check, and I watched them check everybody. They didn't check me because I was with the artist, so we just walked in. You VIP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead in. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead in. <laughs> so we just walked in and. Uh, of course, I was watching the new security, and I mean, it was obvious that nobody, or that I knew of, nobody was, you know, popping stuff like that. Like, it was it was cool, but just it being dark and light since the smell of weed, that was a trigger for me. But I was with my mom, so I was just like, okay, I feel a little bit better. But the second after we performed, I was just like, gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. So stuff like that kind of triggers me. Yeah. Okay, so before we write this up, I've seen that tattoo. Does that mean anything? Uh, yeah. Good question, Day Dog. <laughs> of course, this is why. Eon! That was a good question. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, he does have good questions. So, what? You might ask the best questions. But, um, <laughs> uh, I got this last week on Friday. It's 
little cross and it has birds. Well, the birds part is uh, for my mom. Her mom, her maiden name is Bird. Mm. My mom's side of the family. Creative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was flowers, but I was like, mm, can we do something else? And I was like, you can try Bird. So that's what that was. And honestly, I mean, the scared my life looking at it. So that's your first tattoo? Mm hmm. And are you planning on getting any more? Of course. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely planning on it in like a couple weeks. No, we'll get the whole sleep. Weeks. No, 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 not sleep. Just going somewhere else that could be living. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably somewhere in this area. Oh, so like for like just your man because you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, sorry. Okay, okay, so with that one, we're going to wrap this one up. <laughs> another cozy boys cozy vibes podcast make sure y'all like comment and subscribe she caught it (laughs) follow everybody's social media in the description below and with that we'll see y'all on the next one y'all have a good day and we're out